the applicant, is that yes. correct? Okay. The bill fell through. Okay. All right, so we'll move on to Bremerton. Ms. Jessica. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, our, well, what we have is we have a multi-parcel um, development um, that will create a plan of development that's proposed by the developer, MCL Investments, LLC, um, on behalf of the current property owner. Uh, there are three different parcels that said the total project area is 1.49 acres. Uh, they are also requesting a density from 18 units to 36 units. Um, a reduction in the front yard setback of 16 feet and a rear yard setback of 15, <coughs> or excuse me, of 25 feet. Um, with there being three developed or three separate parcels, um, each parcel needs to be um, discussed um, separately. They're also wanting to do a 36 unit, 72 bedroom, three stories um, development. It'll be two buildings. Uh, the first property, which will be our rezone 2022-01. It's 1201 Bay Tree Road. It's uh, currently zoned community commercial and it's in our downtown district overlay. Uh, it consists of 0.8 um, acres. Um, uh, and this is also known as the um, currently the CJ Pub and Pool building. That's where the 1201 Bay Tree Road is currently. Yes, Jessica, can I stop you? Yes, sir. Where's that flat at? Uh, we have those at which package is it in? It should be your very last page. Your very last package. All of the drawings and uh, images on your very last. If you don't have it, I have an extra. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Um, as I discussed with the uh, members that were here at the work session, your the largest parcel facing Bay Tree Road, that's going to be your 1201 Bay Tree Road. The parcel um, below that to the east, that's going to be your 1706 parcel. And the uh, parcel below that to the west is the 1708 parcel, okay, a popular street. <coughs> um, they are requesting that this be rezoned for community commercial uh, with a downtown district overlay to multifamily. Um, with this request, the following factors should be considered. The frontage on Bay Tree Road, the potential impact to existing community commercial neighbors to the east, west, and north, the potential traffic impact, the potential impact on water, sewer, police, and fire protection, the proposed change, change is not suitable in the view of the zoning and development of adjacent and or nearby properties and could um, diversely influence of any existing conditions in the city, which is why the property should not be redistricted. The proposed change is out of scale for the needs of the city of Bremerton. The potential economic impact generated from rezoning said property from community commercial to multifamily and the potential increase in noise complaints. Um, those are the issues why staff is not supportive of the rezone request at 1201 Bay Tree Road from being community commercial to the overlay district to multifamily. I know we're discussing each of these individually, but these three lots will comprise yes, the one new lot. Yes, ma'am. So it looks like that y'all are supportive of the popular street. The reason that um, staff is supportive of the Poplar Street is that par particular parcel is community commercial. It's the only one that's in that area. Okay. So, so it's, it's a part. It's a zone by itself, and right. it, it needs to be changed um, to multifamily, right. regardless of what um, commission feels to do with the, with the actual development. Gotcha. It's staff's recommendation to approve that one and remove it from the downtown overlay district as well. That makes sense. And by creating the 1201 Bay Tree Road, a multifamily that was put in in its own parcel will be a multifamily. And it becomes a spot zone. Then, yes, ma'am. Okay. Commissioners, you have questions? Right now, 
they would like to increase the number of units by twice on the front parcel? Uh, well, it would be the total. The total, both buildings, they were, um, they had, they should only have, excuse me, total number of allotted units for 1.49 acres is 18, and they're willing to put in 36 units on the 1.49 acres. So they need that <coughs> property to get the number of units they want? Yes, ma'am. How many units, if that does not approve, CJ, how many units will they be able to put on the other two? Well, lots? our ordinance um, indicates 12 per acre. Um, after a previous discussion with you, Mr. Hightower, last time we were here, um, not only the work session, but the last time I was here with the density request, uh, st staff is going to um, look at doing an amendment for our zoning. Um, at this point right now, I think we would go to 18 units per acre. Which would coincide with what the city of Alabama is doing as well. And the two lots, the, the popular street lots, would comprise how much area? Uh, one is 0.47, and the other one is. One's 0.47 acres, and the other one is, I think, 0.19 acres. Or 0.2 so acres. have an acre there. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. So they're only going to get about 10 units. Right, unless unless they came and did a um, variance to increase the density um, for that project. Thank you, Jessica. Yes, sir. Is there any discussion about changing the orientation of that lot? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, um, I tried to make contact with the developer um, and his architect, uh -huh. and there was no really no discussion on, on either party, whether it's my party or their okay. party on changing the orientation. Yes, okay. Commissioners? Just one last question, just to, um, I've driven by this place a lot. Is there parking in front of CJ's right now? Yes, sir. There's parking in, behind, in front of CJ's, on the side of CJ's, and behind it. And the 1706 was additional overflow parking for that property. So how much of that 1.49 acres, more or less, I'm asking you to estimate it, behind the pool hall or whatever it is, would be, if they wanted to incorporate that into their project, would that be possible at all? Or? I think if they incorporated that, the back the back parking to theirs, that it would um, hurt the, if a future developer came in and wanted to purchase CJs for their parking, or whatever they wanted to put oh, there, probably, I agree with that. like a restaurant or things of that nature. Because remember, that used to be originally was the old Big B building. Yes. Yeah. Right. Has there been any interest in that? Yes, ma'am. Um, the size of the developer that's here tonight, I've had a couple of other um, people contact me and um, put a restaurant in there. I don't know what's going on with that, or, you know, if it's sold out or whatnot, but okay. there has been other interest. Okay. All right. All right, commissioners, any other questions before we open it up to the public? All right, is there anyone here tonight wishing to speak on behalf of this request? Zoning 
is consistently CC in the Bremerton portion that is facing Bay Tree. And I've, I've heard the comments from staff, but I did want to point out that the zoning across the street was inconsistent. And the zoning on the east side, if you stand in the parking lot, you look towards the SU. And the zoning just behind it is very accepting of multifamily. I think there are either five or six apartment complexes facing Bay Tree back from the east, and several of which you can see from this parking lot. I think they're less than 2,000 feet away. So although this section may not be uh, multifamily, it's, it's definitely an area that is that has <coughs> multifamily in several different directions. And in addition, if I'm looking at this map right, it appears multifamily actually touches the backside of this parcel. I, I brought the map up. We don't have this only map in the packet, do we? Just um, I don't believe so. We don't have to um, can we just pass it? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the part I was telling you about earlier today. So, can I? Yes. All right. Okay. So when the city council, because I talked with um, Mr. Lane about this earlier, I know we talked about this at the work session. This blue parcel right here, that's your 1708 parcel. And when the city of Bremerton uh, redid their design guidelines and their zoning map in 2007, they put that parcel automatically as multifamily. The reason they did not do the property next to that as multifamily and left it as commercial was one reason they squared this off that that was also a predominant business at the time in 2007 and they were um, utilizing that parking area, the overflow parking. So what they did was they just kind of just squared it off. Gotcha. And that's why that property is zone community commercial, which is why staff's recommendations for that property, that particular parcel, is to turn it into uh, multi Okay, gotcha. Yes. Uh, the point I want to make about this is that I've heard spot zoning thrown out and creating an island. This track literally touches a zone classification that we're asking. Talk about it facing Bay Tree one way, but the adjacent parcel is on in that, and that's what we're asking for. So, um, also, I want to talk about the, the building as it sits. And I know it's been a big D before and CJs before, and I, I don't have numbers of exactly how often that building has been used, but just judging on my memory from the last 17 years. I can't remember it being occupied as a business very much. I can't imagine it's been more than a couple of years. It's just been very inconsistently occupied, and I don't know the reason for that. I don't know if the block building that was originally constructed there just hasn't set up well for uh, CC use, but I just know from what I've watched, it has sat empty for the vast majority of the last 17 it looks bad. I was there today. The sign looks bad. The building is empty and it's just a desolate looking area. And it has been empty consistently for a long time. If you look at the layout of what has been uh, filed, and I don't know if everyone has this, I'm happy to pass this around as well. But the concrete block building that is currently CJ's. If you're standing at Bay Tree facing the property, it's just on the right side. And it's just a big concrete parking lot. That's all it is. If you look at what's proposed, you can see the, the front of the apartment complex. If uh, the developer actually used the style that was recommended by staff of historic appearance with extra brick and good metal siding and stuff like that. It's not, they're not going cheap on the apartment. They're doing what was recommended from the Bremerton staff. And if you just look at what it would look like with the landscaping, with this new building, it could be a great improvement for what's been in that spot for the last 17 years. So at least.
needs that on. So, yeah, even though it's not CC, I don't, maybe there's a restaurant looking at it now, but there's always been a restaurant looking at it. But the fact that it's just been sitting empty for most of the time that it's been there with the big empty parking lot, at least what's proposed is much more aesthetically pleasing um, with the landscaping, and it'll be a newer building. And if you, you talk about voice complaints, CJ's bar sign in front of it right now. So I think last week was a bar. I was thinking apartment complexes would be farther than a bar. And mm -hmm. that's what it's going for now. That's so, Jack, the orientation of the building itself, mm -hmm. the back of the building would actually be facing Bakery. Is that correct? No. Um, there's an image. There's an image here. <laughs> This is what it looks like from Bay Tree now. This is the CJ's concrete block building. Right. And then the layout. You look at the you got a, the facing building and the landscaping. We still have a parking lot over there, which is what we have right now. But it will be laid out a lot better, a newer building. Much better looking and a lot better landscaping. It's pretty much just concrete right now. Um, I'm referring to this page here of this map. I can get that in your hand. Yes. So the project went through as you as you desired your client was allowed. You would be exiting and entering <coughs> the Bay Tree or not? I mean, I see a driveway there. In this Is that required, Jessica? Dual, dual entrances? Uh, they, the, the, they put that there as just part of their site plan. Is it required by you? Uh, that I can't answer off the cuff because I can't remember. Is that your client's desire, then, Mr. Langdell, to be able to have access on and off of Bay Tree from the apartment complex? Uh, yes, sir. That's my understanding. Okay. Yes. Yes. Jack, I don't ask a question. Just curiosity. <laughs> Is there been any discussion about? On this particular, the 1201 location about the ground floor uh, being some type of commercial use and then two floors above the residential, just curious. Not that I'm aware of. Would that make a difference for you, Jessica? A mixed development would, yes, sir. For staff. here tonight wishing to speak on behalf of this request? <clears throat> Anyone here tonight wishing to speak against this request? Anyone wishing to speak against? All right, if not, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners for some discussion. I'm just curious if the developer would be interested in that because if Jessica said she would be more open to that and kind of get the best of both worlds, I'd like to see the developer. <laughs> well, how much time it, do you need? It was noted that that layout was used on the other uh, complex right down the street, and they seem to all be empty right now. Okay. And we prefer not to, to keep it strictly residential. Okay. Given the, the proximity of the one that's not doing well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. staff would be used, losing an additional community commercial property. Uh, it's been noted, you know, we've been coming, you know, we've been visiting with each other quite some for, for many years, and the community um, commercial properties that we've had, we've tried to do mixed use. Um, you know, we've tried other things, and it just seems that the community commercial just keeps dwindling and dwindling, and staff wanting to continue, wanting to Keep that one property, 1201 Bay Tree, alive as a commercial property at this point. Okay. Just 
time limit on that. Sure. So I, I just want to go back over your, your key factors, Jessica, yes, and, and I do agree with you that not that not only the frontage on made food or the does not necessarily give me heartburn. Yes, sir. Um, and I do agree with you on number three about the potential traffic impact. And indeed, there has to be an outlet right there. I mean, how far are we from the nearest traffic light? I mean, because sometimes it's backed up past uh, these days. Well, with the turn lane, yeah. where it turns, the, only, the next property is your Dollar General. It's at the corner of the Dollar General and um, <coughs> Melody and Bates, or Melody and Jerry Jones. So we're 100 feet. Yeah, yeah, the turn lane actually <coughs> extends down to CJ's almost, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I, I know it's backed up past there sometimes. Yeah. I, I, we really need to do for you to do some discovery on what yes, are the required minimum as far as to get in and get out. I, I, to me, that I bet that's a pretty important driver. Another thing I need to ask you is, how, how concerned are we are about the impact on water, sewer, or rivers? I mean, if this was someplace else, this many units, would we still use that as a factor? I, I don't believe, well, staff doesn't believe that it's really as much as your water and sewer. Uh, which it will impact our utility department um, with additional services that we provide, but also our police and fire. Um, as you know, we you know we're a small town. We have nine police officers total. That includes our uh, chief and our investigator, but we're still a volunteer fire department. We have one. We have one person that is a full-time firefighter. He's our fire chief. And if anybody knows Fred. Uh, news or knows where Lance County has went to um, actually many full-time stations because the volunteer rate is declining <coughs> rapidly daily. Is, is there some type of agreement place in the city about us and the Russian fire truck over there at a moment's notice? Only if called. Only if called? Only if is called. something burning? Is that a need to call? <laughs> well, the thing is, well, well and I, the reason I say that is because we'll get, we get fire alarms all the time. Fire alarms. I've, burnt up my spaghetti because I wasn't paying attention to the water bowl out. Says fire alarm. There's no reason for violence to come. Right. However, if it's a true structure fire, they're coming. And that's what we're concerned with. Yeah. Yes, sir. we're concerned about a structure fire. Yes. But Reavers is still has to um they still have to respond to all of those calls where uh, my fire alarm again, I was cooking and the smoke alarm went off because these apartment complexes have those automated fire alarm systems where it hits a dispatch first and they dispatch automatically. What, Jessica, what is Remerton's long range goal as far as bringing in new residents? Are y'all looking for single family residents? I, I, I just long range, what's y'all's goal? The goal would be for more single family towards the backside of, towards the inner circles of where Remerton is. Okay. Um, which, you know, we do have several. That was a hot item, hot, you know, talking mm -hmm. years ago. Right. Where they were coming and building all those houses on Wayland Park. Right. Edgewood. Uh, and you have to notice, too, we're um, all the 15 acres built out. So let's, say, let's be truthful. Either they go, either a developer comes in and they've done what Mr. LaHood has done and he renovates the current property that's already there, which we have other dilapidated buildings as well, or you have to go up. Unless you put in a, I mean, you could put in a, a nice um, Wayland Park area, you know, where they're, what, 0.14 acres per house, and you know, a little 3 2 cookie cutter house. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. All right. No other discussion? Now, we will um, vote on each one of these separately. So we'll start with, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Did not, I did that. Did I not call those Was she just speak against his request? Oh, okay. Can I <laughs> um, Okay. So uh, for the rezoning request, RE 2022-01, which is the 1201 Bakery property, I'll entertain a motion on that one. Madam Chair. Yes, Commissioner Bailey. On the case that before us this evening, seated at Riverton RE 2022-01, I make a motion that we rezone from CC to MF with one condition. Okay. And, and, I, and I, as Ms. Longo, it severely concerns me, but I would think that there'd be no outlet onto Bay Tree. 
So that's the reason Jessica's got to get on this thing to make sure if the one outlet will spill off will be enough. And that's my condition that only the eight bay tree outlet will be done with. Could I add some comments? Yes, we have a second by Commissioner Willis, so now we'll open it up for discussion. So I'd just like to add, so it's in the record, that it appears that the basic opposition by staff to uh, this only request is the city's desire to have commercial property. And our history, as we've seen it developing, especially in all these efforts that some of us are very close to uh, about trying to get retail development within Reedington, it's just not taking the traction. And um, it is, uh, multifamily is, is clearly an appropriate land use for one of the things that we need to look at. So whether or not it's appropriate, the answer for that, in my opinion, of course, is yes. And um, because of these reasons, I support this motion. Okay. Any other discussion? All right. We'll vote on the motion to approve with one condition, and that is that there will be no outlet on the Bay Tree Road. Okay. I think it's we a, have not voted. I think it's a requirement to have that second access point for the fire department. So I, I think if it's approved, I don't think that could be That's something that staff has to look at. At the work session, there was a discussion um, about having Baytree Road being an entrance only and not an exit because of its location to the red light. But be glad to go over that with the developer before our next meeting uh, for city council. Okay. And, get, and getting that information. All right. We'll let our motion stand okay. um, with, the and, with the condition, and then you guys have the final decision. Okay. And in that, in the interim, then you can research as to whether or not you need that outlet. Yes, ma'am. All right. All those in favor of the motion by Commissioner Bailey to approve with the condition of no outlet on Bay Tree, please raise your right hand. All those against, and that motion will carry. All right. Um, do we need to discuss the other cases separately? Uh, no. Well, yes, ma'am. Um, as far as the certificate of appropriateness for 1201 Bay Tree, right. based on the uh, motion made by the commission on a number on the rezone, right. staff recommends to approve that certificate of appropriateness. Okay. 2022-01. Okay. 